What's up you guys, Jason Wardrop here and in today's video we're going to break down the ultimate real estate sales funnel, the ultimate lead generation funnel for your business and really this works if you're trying to get buyer leads or seller leads or first time home buyers or whatever it is, it's kind of the same process for the sales funnel. So the first thing I want to do is I want to jump onto my iPad and actually map out what the sales funnel looks like because it's kind of helpful to get an overview of what the funnel looks like and then I'm going to go through and build it out step by step with you guys so you can see the simple process of how to inject this into your own business to start generating a consistent flow of leads. Now, before we jump on my iPad right over here, if you don't mind, go ahead, smash that like button, that thumbs up button. It'll really help out this video with the YouTube algorithm, help other people see this video as well. So with that said, let's jump over on my iPad where I'll map out both of these two sales funnels first. And then I'll share with you guys which one I prefer, which one I recommend that you use in your own business. All right, so this first sales funnel is going to be going after a higher quality of lead, whereas the second one is going after the higher quantity of lead. And so I'll just map this out really quick just so you can see the differences of higher quality versus higher quantity. And then I'll share with you guys which one I actually like to do in my business. So the first one, what we're going to do is we're going to have some sort of Facebook ad or it could be Instagram ad, YouTube ad, Google ad. It's just some way of getting eyeballs over to your landing page. So we're gonna have a Facebook ad, let's say, to some sort of landing page. And a landing page, if you guys remember, is just a simple page to grab the visitor's contact information. So it's not our website, but it's a simple page where we're asking for their name, their phone number, their email address. Now, in order to get higher quality leads, we're probably gonna ask for a lot more information. We might ask if for their address, we might be asking if they're looking to buy or sell a home, um, we might be asking for a few other details, but the more details that we ask for, our conversion rates go down, okay? Because if you think about it, when someone clicks on an ad, they go to a landing page, they kind of want the lowest barrier to entry to the next step. And if there's too many barriers to entry, they're just gonna click out and they're just gonna be done with it. However, the people that are actually gonna fill out the entire form, they're gonna be very engaged. They're gonna be people that you actually really want to connect with. Okay, so over here on this first one for the higher quality, we might be asking for their name, their email, their phone, their address, how many bedrooms they're looking for, how many bathrooms. We're asking for all this information right up front, and then once they click submit, they become a lead, right? And then what we can do is we can have an automated email and SMS follow-up to follow up, connect with these people and actually book appointments on our calendar. Right now, very similar type of sales funnel here, but for the higher quantity of leads is going to be some sort of Facebook ad going to a landing page. But instead of asking for all this information up front, what we're just going to do is ask for their name, their phone number, and their email address, just the basic contact information to get them into our world, right? It's like going to a networking event and grabbing someone's business card where it's very low barrier to entry to get someone's business card, but then now we've got their contact information that we can follow up with that person. So then, at this point, we have a lead, so a lot lower barrier to entry, so our conversion rates on this landing page are dramatically higher. And then at this point, through the follow-up emails and SMS, we can ask the remaining questions that we might have asked on this initial landing page. Okay, so the benefits of each one where you got the higher quality information right here, but our cost is dramatically higher for these leads. Whereas our cost here is a lot less, and maybe they're not all 100% great leads, but we have a lot more contact information of people in our specific area. Now, out of both of these sales funnels right here, I like this one so much more, and the reason being is because I'm getting a lot of leads into my database, and maybe they're not ready to go through and buy or sell a home right away, but they're looking in maybe three months, in six months, maybe in a year, and I can get them onto my email list. They can start to understand who I am, what I do, how I can help them, and I can start building that trust, that credibility, that rapport for when they're ready to take action. They know who I am and they actually want to work with me, all right? So, so many people are so focused on this type of sales funnel up right here 
of the people that are just ready to take action right now and buy right now. Whereas you're going to have so much more long-term value right here in this sales funnel if you properly nurture those leads in your database. All right, so hopefully the different kind of sales funnels right here make sense because I get asked a lot about like, well, you know, this is going to be bringing not as high quality of leads. I want higher quality leads. Well, that's great. Everyone wants high quality leads and you will get high quality leads with these, this type of sales funnel right here. And you're going to have all the automation to book appointments, all that stuff through the follow up message right here. But wouldn't it be nice to get as many leads as possible so you can nurture them connect with them, build that credibility, that rapport, that trust, so that later down the road in six months, 12 months, you don't have to spend more money to get those people that are already ready to buy, and you've already had that personal branding, that connection with them over the last several months, sending them contact content via email, maybe some text messages, maybe some phone calls, connecting with that person, right? You don't always wanna just be jumping right to it if that person is not ready. All right, so with that said, guys, let's jump in. I want to go through and show you guys how to create this in literally just five minutes for your business. Get a working Facebook ad, landing page, as well as the email and SMS follow-up to automatically book appointments on your calendar so you can ultimately close more deals. So with that said, let's jump off the iPad, let's jump onto my computer, and I'll show you guys how to set this up step by step. All right, so here we are on Facebook, and you can see this is what the Facebook ad or the post will look like. And once they go through and they click on this post, so this is like them clicking on the ad, right? They go to a landing page, and we're asking for the basic contact information. So just their name, their phone number, their email address to get the higher volume of leads in. And then we can sift and sort through all of these leads and pick out the highest quality leads through our automated email and SMS follow-up system. Okay, so what we're gonna do, so we're gonna come over here to the arsenal system that we build out specifically for you guys, real estate professionals, and we've made this so easy. We can set this all up in literally just three clicks of your mouse. So the first thing we wanna do is we say, okay, what kind of campaign are you wanting to create? Do you wanna market a listing, market an open house, market for buyer leads, or create a custom ad? Now, we have dozens of other templates we've got for seller leads, open house leads, like so many other foreclosure leads, that we can go through and just give to you these templates to easily start generating more leads for your business. So if we click right here, market for buyer leads, let's say. Let's say you don't have a list and go through and set up, and we're just gonna give this campaign a name. So buyer leads, and the typical home price that you like to usually work with, let's say is 650,000, boom, right there. And we are in, let's say Portland, and then we're just gonna upload an image right here of a home in our area. So got one right there. And then we just click next. So that is one click of our mouse right there. And then after they opt in, we can say, where do we want to send this person? Okay, do we want to go through and send them to our Facebook page, our website, book an appointment with us? Do you want to send them to a buyer Facebook Messenger bot or a custom URL? So for this one, we're just going to say to book an appointment with us. We're going to go ahead and click next right here. And at this point, we are setting up the Facebook ad with the budget. And the great thing is, is we take care of all of the targeting for you so you don't even have to worry about it, okay? It's all compliant with Facebook special ad category and for housing, everything. It's got all the inclusions, exclusions that you could possibly want. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna do a $10 per day budget, which is kind of the minimum budget that we recommend because that's when Facebook's algorithm really starts kicking in. And we're just gonna check this box right here. And then for the target city, we'll just say Portland. Okay, so Portland, Oregon right there. Boom, and then we can go through, we can change up any of this ad copy, but we've already pre-built all the ad copy for you, and you can see the image that we uploaded is already on the ad. Okay, so, so simple, we've made this so easy for you guys to go through and get all this started, even if you have no prior experience, no tech skills, and a little budget, you can go through and start generating a consistent flow of leads with these real estate sales funnels. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna come over here and click launch, and what we're doing here is we're creating the Facebook ad, the landing page, all the follow-ups, and we we'll have all the Facebook pixels, the tracking, custom conversions that we're building out for you in a matter of seconds. Okay, so you can see the campaign saved, and we've got the buyer leads demo. This is the one we just created right here, or actually this one right here, the buyer leads up here. And we've got the welcome to the Portland homes under 650,000 list. Some of these homes even may qualify for special financing. Get me the list. They come in here put in their name, their email, 
and their phone number. And so they hit submit. At this point, they become a lead in your database. And we have a mobile app where you'll get an instant lead notification and we'll have the automated follow-up that we'll show you guys here in just a second that all the automated emails and text messages will go directly to this person to follow up with them so you can book more appointments on your calendar. Now, check this out. Remember how we said that we were going to go through and book more appointments with these leads? When we click right here, it sends them to our calendaring page through our Facebook page where they can go through and book an appointment with us. So it's made it so easy, so simple. So once this page fully loads, you can see it pops up our calendar directly integrated with our Facebook page, integrated with Google Calendar where we can choose the day and they can see what times of day that you're actually available and they can request an appointment, put in their phone number and you can go through and just check your calendar and see, okay, all these people have automatically booked appointments with me through my real estate sales funnel. Right. So anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful of going through and setting up your own real estate sales funnel. And as I mentioned, this works for buyer leads, for seller leads, open house leads, foreclosure leads, whatever you want. And if you guys want a member of our team to help get this all set up for you A to Z, we actually have a 30 day lead challenge where we'll help you get your first or next 15 exclusive real estate leads in the next 30 days. And we'll have a link down in the description as well as in the top comment that you can jump in there get started and have a member of our team help set all this up for you so you don't even have to think about it. So anyway, guys, go ahead, check that out down below. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. With that said, I will see you in the next video.